It's perhaps the most common topic in every single pub or gathering of football lovers. Who is the greatest player of all time? This question can be heavily contextualized due to the mere fact that attacking players get all the attention and are thus the first names to mention among the best in the world. For the sake of fairness and clarity, we decided to make a list of the greatest players currently cracking it in every position in football. This was certainly a tough list to make as there are so many world-class performers in each position that it went down to small margins. After coming to an agreement, we bring you the greatest of all time in every position in football between 2023 and 2024. Goalkeeper? Alison Becker. The bulky Brazilian signed for Liverpool as they searched for a new custodian with quality passing ability to enable them to play out from the back. This is why Jurgen Klopp was happy to sanction a 66.8 million tier deal. At the time, a world record fee for a keeper. For the reigning Serie A goalkeeper of the year in 2018, Alisson has since lifted every trophy possible including the Premier League, FA Cup, EFL Cup, UEFA Champions League, UEFA Super Cup, and FIFA Club World Cup. Having also won the Copa America with Brazil, Alisson has tasted individual success as he was named the best FIFA goalkeeper in 2019 and was the first recipient of the Yashin Trophy in the same year. As an orthodox goalkeeper, there aren't many better than the two-time FIFA Pro World XI pick in today's game, as his shot-stopping is simply impeccable. Whether in one-on-one -on -one situations or showing good reflexes to stop spectacular goal-bound efforts, his saves have been crucial as he keeps his team in games and possesses the consistency to deliver even when Liverpool struggled in mid-table at times. As a modern-day custodian, it is also pertinent to be reliable with the ball to feet to help their team launch attacks and relieve pressure. Right back. Akraf Hakimi. While most people will pick Trent Alexander-Arnold, who is definitely an honorary mention, Akraf Hakimi arguably has more defensive nous and is world-class at both right and left back. From winning the Champions League with Real Madrid, sparkling in the Bundesliga with an incredible young Dortmund team, winning the Scudetto with Inter Milan, to starring alongside his best friend Kylian Mbappe, Neymar and Lionel Messi at Paris Saint-Germain. Hakimi has done it all and is still on 25. The Madrid-born superstar was also a key figure in Morocco's run to their first-ever FIFA World Cup semi-final. He has already lifted nine career trophies alongside a host of individual honors including Team of the Year selections in the Bundesliga, Serie A, and League One. Hakimi's jet heeled running up and down the right flank, pinpoint crosses and silky dribbling has become a staple of PSG's attacks and allowed their forwards to occupy better scoring positions. He is technically brilliant and a wonderful tactical weapon for his manager, who knows there is no better Brazilian-style fullback out there in world football. Center back, William Saliba. Already one of the best center halves in the world, at just 22 years old, the measure of William Saliba's quality is evidenced by how he turned Arsenal from top four hopefuls to title contenders in his first season as a regular starter. The Frenchman is an uber-athlete who also happens to be elite in all aspects of the game, with his excellent positioning, phenomenal reading of the game, and ridiculous pace for someone so big. Saliba is outstanding on the ball, as is expected in his position, and his qualities give Arsenal the confidence to attack knowing they have a Rolls-Royce of a defender at the back. His status as Mikel Arteta's most important player was clear for all to see when Saliba injured his back in March 2023 and was ultimately ruled out for the rest of the season. The Gunners soon enough lost their top spot for Manchester City to complete a Premier League title three-peat. Yet Saliba was named in the PFA Team of the Year. Center back Ruben Dias When we talk of transformative signings, Ruben Dias is a perfect example after joining Pep Guardiola's Manchester City and turning them into an even more fearsome winning machine. With his leadership, aerial ability and intuition to snuff out danger, you can tell that the Portuguese enjoys the defensive side of the game and basks in the physical challenges. Since forming an almost unbreakable centre-back partnership with the revived John Stones in his first season in Manchester, Diaz has gone on leaps and bounds. The Citizens won three straight Premier League titles during a period when Guardiola changed his defensive outlook and focused solely on fielding naturally defensive-minded players at the back to stop transitions against his all-conquering team. That evolution, thanks largely to the influence of Diaz, led to the treble in 2023 as Manchester City finally won the Champions League. On a personal level, the defender has been named FWA Footballer of the Year, Manchester City Player of the Year, Premier League Player of the Season, and the UEFA Champions League Defender of the Season. His tenacity and leadership point to Diaz having a long and successful career ahead, as he has already won 10 trophies for club and country. At 26, he is set to stay at the elite level of the game for years to come. Left back, Theo Hernandez. Born into a family of defenders, 
It is only right that one of them is the best left back in the world right now. Theo Hernandez has been the standout left back in Serie A and remains to this day one of AC Milan's most important attacking pieces. Possessing bags of pace, mazy dribbling, and exquisite goal-scoring ability, the Frenchman is a delightful watch, and he has the statistics to back up his ability with four goals and five assists in the 2022-23 season. He has already lifted the Champions League, UEFA Super Cup, FIFA Club World Cup, Serie A, and the UEFA Nations League, while individual honors include four selections in the Serie A Team of the Year, two Serie A Goal of the Month as well as the Goal of the Season. Although a keen attacker, Theo's all-round qualities are elite to the point where he is also a diligent defender in 1v1 situations. He looked right at home after replacing his injured brother Lucas early in France's 2022 World Cup campaign as he opened the scoring in the semi-final against Morocco on their way to an eventual runner-up finish. Now we move to a key position on the pitch, the midfield defensive midfield Rodri. This position is for the unsung heroes who are simply worth their weight in gold. Initially, being handed the unenviable job of replacing Manchester City captain Fernandino, Rodri has gone beyond the highest expectations as he formed an instrumental part of the team that won three consecutive league titles. This last of those titles came as part of a treble which was completed by a first-ever UEFA Champions League triumph in 2023. Thanks to Rodri's lone goal in the final, this historic treble will always be associated with the Spaniard's tireless work at the base of midfield, and he was duly named the 2022-23 Champions League Player of the Season. Rodri started more games, 52, than any of his outfield teammates, and after lifting the Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup, and UEFA Nations League, he was certainly crucial to success for club and country. The 27-year-old is undoubtedly the best holding midfielder in the world and his influence is keenly felt at City, who have lost every single game Rodri has not played in since winning the UCL while they won every single match he featured in. Coincidence? The differential factor has always been Rodri. Central midfield? Kevin De Bruyne. Never in doubt. Kevin De Bruyne is the best playmaker of his generation and the one player who turns Man City from very good to absolutely unstoppable. The Belgian's trophy cabinet includes five Premier League titles, five League Cups, two FA Cups, and the UEFA Champions League all won at City. He was influential in every single one of those triumphs and laid on 31 assists, alongside 10 goals in 49 games as City won the Continental Treble in 2023. He has defined an era in England with his vision, range of passing, creativity, technique on either foot, and set-piece ability. To many, De Bruyne is even the complete footballer. Despite his ill luck with injuries down the years, the brilliant Belgian has been listed in the FIFA Fifiero World 11 and UEFA Team of the Year three times each. He is also a multiple-time Premier League Playmaker of the Season, the PFA Players Player of the Year, Manchester City's Player of the Year, the IFFHS World's Best Playmaker, and the UEFA Champions League Midfielder of the Season. Moving on in our midfield selection is one who has achieved so much in a short career so far, Central Midfield. Jude Bellingham, still only 20, and already one of the most well-rounded midfielders in the world. Bellingham has produced quality far beyond his years, right from the start. A memorable final season at Borussia Dortmund saw the Englishman register eight goals and five league assists as they came ever so close to winning the Bundesliga title on the final day. Yet, his inspired performances earned him the Bundesliga Player of the Season award, as well as a E-103 million move to Real Madrid. No one could have predicted the extent of Bellingham's incredible impact in the Spanish capital, with 17 goals and 5 assists in his first 20 games for Los Blancos. His goal celebration has quickly become a trademark, and the cultural impact of his acquisition is already being compared to Michael Jordan Bellingham, won both the Copa Trophy and European Golden Boy in 2023 to cement his place as the best U21 player in the world. But he is already performing as one of the very best everywhere. His biggest challengers for the Ballon d'Or award will be one of our all-star front three. Left wing, Kylian Mbappe. The dreams of a young footballer have been surpassed long ago, but Mbappe continues to shatter records and score goals, possessing incredible pace, dribbling and clinical finishing. The 24-year-old is Paris Saint-Germain's all-time top goal scorer and third in assists. He has already won the World Cup and was denied a second by a certain Lionel Messi despite scoring a hat-trick in the showpiece final. Mbappe has won six League One titles, three Coupes de France and the UEFA Nations League, while the 2022 World Cup Golden Boot, Copa Trophy, Golden Boy, League One Player of the Year and three FIF Pro World XI selections are just some of his individual recognitions. This leaves the Champions League as the only major title missing from Mbappe's trophy cabinet, 
and the Ballon d'Or is bound to follow as soon as he wins it. The dream move to Real Madrid promises to deliver this superstar's crowning jewel. Right wing, Lionel Messi. Despite an underwhelming domestic season by his own standards, Messi showed the whole world why he remains the goat of the modern era with his masterful showings at the 2022 World Cup. The Argentine put on a vintage display of his best qualities in Qatar to lead the Alba Celeste to their third world title, while an inevitable eighth Ballon d'Or joined his record six European Golden Shoes. 34 trophies and 672 goals with Barcelona are both record totals for a single club, and Messi continues to perform the magic in his boots at the age of 36. Messi finally left European football in the same year as his eternal rival, Cristiano Ronaldo, and his genius has been spread onto the shores of America, where he inspired Inter Miami to their first-ever trophy with the 2023 League's Cup. A first-half season for Vice City ended with 11 goals and 14 appearances, and we can expect even more stardust in the coming months as he raises the profile of U.S. soccer. Now, to the final name on our GOAT lineup, a human goal-scoring machine. Striker, Erling Holland. He smashed the record for most goals in a single Premier League season with 36 in his first 35 games in the competition. His 52 goals in all competitions for Manchester City were the most ever by a Premier League player, so it is understandable that Erling Holland provokes questions about his humanity. This finishing ability, as well as the appetite to keep doing it, is almost unheard of, and it propelled Pep Guardiola's side to a historic treble. The most prolific number nine and the best team in world football was a match made in heaven, and it even allowed the citizens to refine their game in both boxes as they won the Premier League, FA Cup, and Champions League. Despite concerns about other areas of his game, Holland is still only 23, which is frightening to imagine how much he would improve in the coming years. A record of close to a goal per game for Man City speaks volumes, and the Norwegian has already become the first man to win both the Premier League's young player and player of the season. Holland was also named UEFA Men's Player of the Year and finished second in the 2023 Ballon d'Or rankings. His stock will keep rising as he joins Kylie Mbappe as the top dogs of the post-Messi and Ronaldo era. Who else deserves goat shouts in their position in 2023 to 2024? You can let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to also like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now.